Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience at the UK Asexuality Conference two weeks ago. This took place on the 6th of September and 6th is a very hard word to say. Um, and basically it was a um, bunch of panels about asexuality, aromanticism and intersectionality of different topics with uh, those orientations and also kind of a communal like a chance to gather with the ace community in, in one place um, via a platform called gather now i was involved in um, a little a little bit of the organization i helped out volunteered for the uh, with the asian project team and helping out the organization of it um i uh spoke on one of the panels and I moderated one of the panels and hosted a different one of the panels, um, which I'll get into in a minute. But I guess to get into my impressions of it, I thought it went really well and um, I guess before I go any further, uh, if you if you didn't watch it and it's something you're interested in, um, then do go check out the panels. They were all recorded on the UK Asexuality conference 2020 youtube channel which i will link in the description below if that is something that you want to see um but yeah i can't remember off the top of my head all the panels but it's stuff the ones i was involved in were um the gender and trans aces where i was um, the moderator in the background um the research panel where i hosted and the romantic relationships panel where i was talking um, where I was one of the one of the panelists, one of the people answering questions. Um, so I guess if for some reason you're interested in my part in it, um, the stuff I was talking about in romantic relationships on the romantic relationships panel is kind of the same things I talk about on the channel. So it might be repeated information for you. But um, Krista and uh, Kayla, the other two panelists, Kayla from Sounds Big But Okay, um, also. <laughs> we're panelists in that, so definitely go check it out if this is something you're interested in, if it's a topic you're interested in. But yeah, and the other two panels, the research and gender trans aces that I was involved in uh, went really well too, so yeah. But definitely go check out some of the panels. Um, I'll leave the link to the website which has the full schedule on it, and you can obviously check all the panels out um, on that YouTube channel I mentioned. And I really enjoyed the panels, I really enjoyed uh, being involved with them. Uh, although that day was very tiring, I have to admit. Um, I was going, what, from about 11 o'clock to 7 or something. So it was almost like a work day. <laughs> but obviously it was much more enjoyable and it went a lot faster than, than an actual work day. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a lot. <laughs> and I was very tired by the end of it. But yeah. I guess the other aspect to the um, panels was the gather sessions and unfortunately um, the gather sessions were not something that could be recorded. Basically what gather is, is it is a digital space um, so it's basically a, a two-dimensional um, like pixel map I suppose um, which can be decorated so it was decorated to look like a conference hall with different rooms sectioned off um, and you have these little um, 2D avatars which you can walk around in in this space in, in a grid um, and when two people's avatars, the avatars kind of look like um, the old uh, Pokemon sprites on the um, DS and Game Boy, yeah when, when two of your two different people's avatars come close enough together it initiates a video chat between the two um, and you can have I don't know how there was tons of people all on like a joint video chat at one point so um it's it was kind of making up for the fact that the conference couldn't be in person this year by still having that social element and i think it was a very good system and it it, it was a good way to kind of make up for that lack of being able to be social with other people at the conference and being able to meet other aces at the conference. But um, I kind of, from my part, it's not something that I was particularly interested in or... Okay, so I'm not very good with people and um, 
not very good at socializing. I'm very introverted and I, I kind of, I get a little bit anxious around people. And the prospect of being thrust into a video call with someone whom I've never met before, to me, is terrifying and I hate it. Um, <laughs> that's not to say that the gather was a bad idea. I think that for the people, a lot of people enjoyed it. And for those people, it was great. And I think it's a wonderful um, alternative to having a physical conference. However, there are people like myself who it doesn't work for. That's not saying it's a bad thing, it's just not a good thing from my perspective. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, so that's not something I personally could get involved in that much. Um, but I did um, use it to catch up with some people I know, um, which was nice. Uh, I talked to um, Sarah and Kayla, sounds fake. I talked to uh, Emmy and uh, Elliot at one point and briefly uh, had a chat with Yasmin Benoit as well. So um, yeah, it was. It, I liked it to like talk to the people I knew, um, but I wouldn't want to go into like a, a space like that if I didn't already know people, I didn't have a set person I was looking for, to talk to. But yeah, those are just kind of my general thoughts about it, about the conference. Um, if you did come to it and you enjoyed it, please do tell me in the comments down below. Um, I do read all the comments, I haven't been replying to as many of them as of late, um, just because I, I haven't felt in the mood and I don't want to reply to the comment for the sake of replying to a comment. I want to reply to a comment when I have something to say and something to contribute, but um, I am reading them all still. Don't worry. <laughs> um, and I do love seeing the comments, even if I'm not engaging with them, replying with them. Um, so do keep commenting. <laughs> um, but yeah, and if you if you if you couldn't come, I would really would recommend checking out the panels and um, seeing if there's anything that might interest you in those, because um, it, it we got there were so many different aces um, and so many different perspectives that were shared. Because I don't know if you hang around here a lot, um, you're just listening to me talk, which is fine. I mean, maybe my perspective is is useful to you and you can relate to my perspective, but. Um, there, there are so many aspects of me which you may not be able to relate to. The fact that I'm male, the fact that I'm homoromantic, the fact that I'm just asexual as opposed to grey ace or demi, for example, if you are. Or or maybe something intersectional like, uh, I don't know, <laughs> that I'm cis or that I'm white or that I'm agnostic, I don't know, any of these things which can intersect and affect your experience and I think that's why something like this is really good because it gives you the chance to see a lot of different aces, older aces, aces of different religions, aces of different genders, aces who may or may not be Arrow and aces of different races and it's just that rhymed, damn it. But you get what I mean. Um, I think it's a really good opportunity to have so many different perspectives in one place. But yeah. Otherwise, uh, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. Um, this may have been a shorter video, but the last few videos have all been really long. So savor those long videos, because they don't happen all the time. Um, yeah, uh, otherwise if you enjoyed this video then please leave a like. I post videos every Saturday so if you want to see more then feel free to subscribe. That is all I had to say today, have a wonderful day and I shall see you next time. <laughs> that didn't go very well. There's a spider outside my window. Goodbye spider, where are you going? But fortunately I have a slow cooker and I can cook things slowly while doing that. But it's fine, I've recorded a video now. Now I can go back to playing Civilization. <laughs>